Hello my dear students welcome to Prudence Coaching Mathematics class here you will get ICSE CBSE WBBSE solutions on all subjects and today we are going to learn how to find out two rational number between given two rational number and I want to inform you that I have already uploaded a video on how to find a single rational number between given two rational number and students here we are going to get more informations on rational numbers which are very important so my dear students let's get started now students let us learn how to find two or more rational numbers between given two rational numbers i want to repeat once more that we have infinite number of rational numbers between given two rational numbers and we should remember that rational number is a number which can be expressed in the form a by b where both a and b are integers and the denominator b is not equal to zero now let us start with the topic that is how to find three rational number here we are asked to find three rational number between the given rational numbers so let first one be one by two and one by four we are asked to find three rational number between one by two and one by four our first task is to make the denominator same before that i want to say you something that is if let a rational number or any fraction be x by y so if you are being given a fraction x by y if we multiply the both numerator and denominator by a fixed number let it be 2 here then we are going to get the same fraction that is this 2 will cancel out and we will get x by y similarly if we are having a fraction x by y if we multiply it by minus 2 and minus 2 we will get the same rational number or the fraction that is x by y so it is clear now that if we multiply a fraction by a fixed number in the both numerator and denominator we are going to get the same fraction so here as you can see here we have one number one by two another is one by four this two are rational number because in half one and two both are integer and two not equal to zero and in one by four this one and four both are integer and four not equal to zero my dear students you are going to get the best and the easiest possible solution so listen carefully our first task will be to make the denominator same here the denominator is two and here it is four so we need to take the lcm of both so lcm of two and four is equals to 4 so we need to make the denominator 4 in both the case so one thing you need to know that here we have 1 by 4 so we need not to change this we need to change this one so in order to make the denominator 4 we need to multiply it with 2 but we cannot multiply the denominator only with 2 we need to multiply the numerator also by 2 because then only we will get the fraction equals to 1 by 2 means if we multiply the denominator or divide the denominator with any number we need to do the same with the numerator then only our fraction will remain same so we have multiplied 2 in both numerator and denominator as a result we will get 2 by 4 so our two numbers between which we need to find out three rational numbers after after making the denominator same is 2 by 4 and 1 by 4 now we need to find out three rational number between these two given rational number so as we are asked to find three rational number we will do 3 plus 1 4 so the thing is if we are asked to find 5 then we will do 5 plus 1 6 if we are asked to find 6 then we will do 6 plus 1 7 and one thing students this uh, method of finding rational numbers between given two rational number will be easier for finding rational numbers which are less than 10 means the number of rational numbers uh, that we are asked to find out if it is less than 10 then it will be very easy to uh, follow this kind of method or this method will be the best so here we are asked to find 3 so we will do 3 plus 1 4 after doing 3 plus 1 4 we need to multiply this 4 in both numerator and denominator of both the given fraction or rational number so this one will be also into 4 into 4 both the case we need to multiply it with 4 so our final numbers will be 8 by 16 and here the number will be 4 by 16 so we have got 8 by 16 and 4 by 16 as you can see students 
Here we need to find three rational number between these two given numbers and 4 is smaller than 8. So if we just add, go on adding plus 1 with the uh, numerator, we will get the next rational number. So 4 plus 1, we will get 5 by 16. Next one will be 6 by 16 and next one will be 7 by 16. So by doing this, we will get three rational number between the given two rational number that is 1 by 2 and 1 by 4. So our final answer will be the 3 rational numbers between one by two and one by four are so the answer are five by sixteen comma six by sixteen and seven by sixteen so students i think it is clear to you how to find two or more rational numbers between given two rational numbers so let us take another one example to understand this better so let us see the next example let us find out three rational number between two and three as you can see this one and this one both are rational number because both of them has a denominator and which is not equal to zero and here two and one both are integer three and one both are integers so let us check how to find three rational number between these two given rational number as you can see here denominator of both the numbers are same so we need not to make them same or make them equal first what do we need to do here as we are asked to find three rational number so we will add three plus one that is four we will get four and we need to multiply these two numbers with four in both numerator and denominator so two by one into four into four we will get 8 by 4 and on the other hand 3 by 1 into 4 and in the numerator 4 you will get 12 by 4 so here also you will get 8 by 4 and on the other hand you will get 12 by 4 now we need to find three rational number so as you can see now it is easier for us because just we need to add plus 1 and we will get the next rational number as you can see 8 is smaller than 12 so you will just add plus 1 with the smaller number so thereby you will get 9 by 4 and the next number which you will get that is 9 plus 1 10 by 4 and the next one will be 11 by 4. So you have got the three rational numbers which were asked in the question uh, that are 9 by 4, 10 by 4 and 11 by 4 which are between 8 by 4 and 12 by 4. So I think it is clear now how to find three rational numbers between given two uh, rational numbers. Now we will see another one example. Now if we are asked to find that is more than three. If we are asked to find five rational number between given two rational number say we have been given we have been given one by three and one by two and we are asked to find five rational numbers between these two rational number we are taking five not four so let us find a uh, five rational number so our first task will be make the denominator same here denominator is three here we have two so the lcm of three and two we will get six so to make this one six we will just multiply with two in both numerator and denominator and to make it six we will just multiply three in both numerator and denominator so these are the number after that what we need to do we need to find five rational numbers so we will take five plus 1 equals to 6 and with this 6 we will multiply both numerator and denominator of the both numbers so as a result we will get this number as 12 by 36 and the other number as 18 by 36 now as you can see here both the denominator are same and 12 is smaller than 18 so 12 is the smaller number so to get the next number we will just do 12 plus 1 so you will get 13 by 36 and next number will be 14 by 36 that is 13 plus 1 
divided by 36 we will get the denominator same now so our uh, 6 our 5 rational number between 12 by 36 and 18 by 36 will be 13 by 36 14 by 36 15 by 36 16 by 36 and 17 by 36 so these are the five rational numbers which are between these two numbers that is 1 by 3 and 1 by 2 so my dear students now it is clear to you how to find out two or more rational numbers but less than 10 rational numbers between given two rational numbers so this is the best method and you are going to get the correct answer by doing this so my dear students if you find this video helpful then like this video and to get more videos like this subscribe our channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notification of the newly uploaded video till we come up with a new video stay tuned stay happy take care of yourself thank you students